Hi YouTube, what you're seeing now are some of my previous sculpts that I've done in the past. Um, quite a lot of them you'll recognise from various kind of creature feature movies. Some of them I've made up. But the one that we're going to concentrate on today uh, is this minion from a film called The Gate. Um, if you haven't seen The Gate, it is a brilliant movie. It's just um, about some kids that find a hole in their back garden and all these little demonic creatures start coming out of the hole. Um, and they're a bit creepy looking and I'm going to show you how I made this one step by step. Okay, so I just started with this aluminium wire, just twisted it round to form this rough overall armature. I can use wire cutters just for any kind of fiddly bits. Then I just used kitchen foil to bulk out the main shape. This is much cheaper than using lots and lots of um, sculpting material. Then a thin layer of milliput over the whole character. This stuff only takes about four hours to dry rock hard. Okay, then I carried on adding the milliput. You can see here, for some reason, I gave him three toes on each foot, and it turns out that he only has uh, two toes on each foot, so that was a bit of a mistake, but I just end up cutting one of them off. Um, so the nice thing with this is you can keep building the milliput just bit by bit. So here I started adding some facial features. He looks a little bit like the predator, the face on there at the moment. Um, and I just did the middle um, finger. Then I added the other fingers on. Uh, and then what you can do is you can actually refine all of this by sanding it back afterwards. So I use a Dremel drill for this purpose. And if you look at the back, the grey bit is the actual drill. And then this finer thing in the front that I'm holding um, is like a small attachment. So it allows you to kind of work a lot more finely with it. This photo just shows some of the drill bits that I use. You can see there's a range here of sort of burrs and grinders and that sort of thing. Some of them are diamond coated and, you know, like really thin points for getting into little tiny corners and things. But all of these are good for kind of sanding away bits that you didn't want. I did quite a bit more sanding to get to this stage, um, just to thin down his fingers and that sort of thing, refine those a bit more. Um, I also used sandpaper to smooth him down quite a bit as well. I added all these bumps on to his uh, arms and legs and then sandpapered these a little bit as well, just to smooth those in. And then he was ready for painting. I just started off with this magenta base coat. Quite often I will paint the whole figure black to start with when I'm doing sculpts. But this time he had this very kind of um, translucent looking skin. So I started off with this yeah, magenta sort of coat and then you'll see after this I just build up the lighter colours on top. So then I used a mix of yellow ochre and white and I just use a dry brush technique where you've hardly got any paint on your brush and it's kind of feels slightly powdery almost and then you just um, kind of scuff it over all the top surfaces of everything and you can see it leaves all of the um, deeper cracks with the sort of reddish colour. Then I did the same mix again, yellow ochre and white but this time with lots more white and this is just, again, dry brushed, scuffed over the top of everything, um, but right on the very highest points to give a kind of highlight effect. You can see here I also painted the inside of his mouth black and his eyes black as well. I took a couple of videos to show you the overall result. Um, one video I took indoors and one I took outdoors so you can see the difference. But I'm pretty pleased with how he turned out. He looks really creepy like the ones in the movie. They just, um, I don't think they ever made any kind of noise or um, said anything. They just kind of uh, moved around looking creepy. Uh, but yeah, check out the film. It's a great movie. And check out some of my other um, sculpting videos that I've done. All my other kind of monsters and movie creatures. Um, hit subscribe if you want to see anything that I'm going to make in the future. I have, you know, I plan to make lots basically. Um, and hopefully lots of things that you'll all recognize. Cool, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.